Ruth, I hope this letter returns to you safely. Given the current state of your situation, I must ask you to suspend your current mission while you're back in Arrowwind and focus on a new task of greater importance. Hmm. It has come to our attention that there is a business partner of ours under suspicion who seems to be tampering with gems that belong to us outside the contract he signed. His name is Henry Onslow, a nobleman. With this letter, I've provided the necessary information for you to put him in his final incarceration by any means necessary. In addition, I ask that you keep a close eye on the strange traveler girl you've encountered. Her situation intrigues me. Allow her to help you if you have to. If she does well, I'd like to formally meet her. I trust in your ability to handle this case with discretion and efficiency. We continue to thank you for your dedication and commitment to our cause. Warm regards. Cordelia Van Weiss. coins I've worked two whole days well I've actually worked more than that Forget out the days that I freaking messed up <laughs> hello thoughts how's it going how's it going everybody uh, what's worse is I have rent in two days due in two days and Magnus won't be back until tomorrow who knows I will get, when I will get money ma back next. Racking funds is always easier than said and done. Yeah. Uh, I think I need some fresh air. Where's my door? Okay. Uh, ow! Ow. Ow. What the? What gives? What the? Oh no, crap. It's
liked him. Um. <laughs> uh. Hey, Ruth. What brings you here? Also, huh? You stand at the front, your front door, eyes wide and frozen uh, in place as you see who s appears in front of you. The very person you've been trying to avoid these past few days. Ruth. You've made a promise, promise to Magnus not to let Ruth know that you got fired. Code red. Not good. Bad. Why? You're a terrible liar. And to try and avoid lying, you've tried to avoid him all week. But it hasn't done you any favors. Every t turn you took, for some reason, he was right there. And now, he is here in front of you. Why was he here? Out of all days, why did he have to show up now? Worst timing ever. Uh, hey, Ruth, what brings you here? You anxiously await his reply. It's so awkward. He's awkward. You're feeling awkward. You want to close the door on his face, but at the same time, you're not a rude person. So instead, you face the pain of having to face him again. Or having to face him. It seems my sp suspicion was correct. Huh? Your face drains of color. Dread knots in your stomach. What suspicion? Has he already seen through your plan? You stand there, sweat prickling your skin as you try to scramble for a defense. I... um... What do you mean by suspicion? There's nothing suspicious going on here. Not at all. What are you doing here? <laughs> um... My apologies for coming unannounced. I was coming to check up on you, but it seems I've caught you at a bad time. Were you on your way to work? Ruth asks awkwardly. You stand there a bit confused and weary. So it wasn't about what you thought he came here for? The challenge was on. You hated lying, lying but you had no choice. Time to lie. Um. Uh, no. Today was kind of my day off. I was just about to go on a walk and get some fresh air. <laughs> Why? What's up? You straighten a smile. Ruth rubs the back of his neck and replies, I'd like to update you on a few things. Do you have time to talk? Update? Again? Like, right here, right now? What could he possibly want to update you on now? As far as you already know, there he had a task to take care of, and he was bus busy with it. Questioning the reason gives you a bit of a headache. Ruth shakes his head. No, it doesn't need to be here. I know a better place where we can sit and talk if that's okay with you. Uh, uh then sure. Uh, I don't mind. Um, where's this place you had in mind? It's not fair. Far. Follow me. Uh, uh, okay. Um, lead the way, I guess. Nope, the stories. <laughs> okay, um. Hey, chat. How's it going? <laughs> How's your guys this morning going? Mine is going great. <laughs> Casually been up since 2 a.m. You know, that's fun. Last time I checked, I still need 200. We had 80, so... I don't know. I don't math very well. Oh, this is... This is a nice little place. Oh, I'm on top of the table. That's kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um, you're seated at a coffee shop in Astra Centrum's Town Square. Here you were again in the familiar scenar scenario of dining with Ruth. It seemed like a recurring theme lately. This time, however, there was a noticeable difference. Ruth wasn't joining you at, in the meal. Instead, he sat across from you, fixated on a piece of paper laid out on the table. You recognized one of the pa pieces of paper that had the fanc a fancy wax seal on it. It was the one Ruth ha received when he first stopped by the messenger a few days back. You get a good look at the wax seal. From what you could see, 
It had some flowers, a shield, a sword, and something else you couldn't quite make out as Ruth moved the paper. You watch you watch Ruth, his brow furrowed in consecration concent, concentration um, as he scanned the contents, seemingly lost in thought. You wonder what gives. Oh my god, the cra crows are loud. <laughs> Sorry. Um, especially with why Ruth wants to update you again. It's weird. You thought he'd be too busy to care about you, but I <laughs> guess not. You would think that being at a coffee shop would be relaxing, but the aroma of freshly brewed coffee mingled with the faint scent of pastries does little to ease your nerves. You become aware of your surroundings, noting every exit, every potential escape route as sweat beads on your forehead, and that dread in the pit of your stomach, yeah, that's still there. But to make your nervousness less obvious, you decided to speak up and stick to the plan. So, uh, what's up? He glances up at you. What's up? He asks slowly. Sensing Ruth's confusion, you rephrase your question. Yeah, you, um, you mentioned having more updates for me? What's going on? Ruth put down his papers. Right, I did say that, didn't I? You nod. Yeah, so what did you want to talk about? I apologize. I will admit I'm not good at socializing with others. I wanted to inquire to see how the job hunting with Magnus was coming along. Did Magnus do what I asked her to? Ruth asks. Your eyes widen a bit. Ruth is straight to the point. A surge of nerves hit hits you as you realize you need to lie to cover up your recent endeavors now. Oh, um, right. It's great. Going great. Totally great. Uh, Magnus is great. <laughs> getting jobs and getting, I, I mean hired. Hired. Um, hired is great. <laughs> I'm getting money too. <laughs> Nothing to worry about it over here with me. Um, if there's any mods in chat, can we, can we like, block blocking Chapman. thanks <laughs> no my immersion for the hydrate i'll hydrate after this um ruth asks with a suspicious tone you nod vigorously mustering a strained smile yep <laughs> ruth sighs what a relief i thought he, she wouldn't follow through he says she can be stubborn I know someone else who's the same way, you thought. Wait a second. Did he really just believe the lie you told? There's no way. Hmm. You took this as a sign, as, as an opportunity to turn the conversation away from yourself. Yeah. Um. Anyways, what about you? What's new? Ruth pauses as if debating to share. Eventually, he sets the paper aside and rubs the back of his neck. Nothing's new with me, he starts. I was hoping to at least be able to go back to Olden and finish what I needed, but I guess not. Things changed, and because of that, this new mission has got me stumped. Ruth confesses. Right. So you are a detective. Does that mean you're not leaving Erwin, then? Ruth frowns, but then nods. Yes. Again, I don't know if you would call what I do being a detective, but yes, it means I won't be leaving Erwin after all. Oh. Ruth is acting rather differently today, but you can't pinpoint on how. It throws you off a bit. But in other words, good news, Ruth got a new mission and can't leave Erwin now. Bad news, you still have to pay rent. And you don't have a job, but Ruth does. You thought, a thought strikes your mind as you drink the coffee you ordered. Then when you got here, the best idea you've thought of in ages. Since you were so, sort of desperate for money at this point, you didn't want to be left homeless and Magnus won't be back until tomorrow. Perhaps you can somehow ask to help him. 
like the good old days back in olden granted you screwed a few things up but maybe you could try and prove that you weren't as reckless as he thinks you are and you could be a detective yourself how cool would that be you recall you you recall you loved reading and watching mysteries they were the thing that inspires you the that inspired you to get into writing you've never been a detective before but surely it can't be that difficult right operation become a detective is a go so what's this new mission of yours ruth squints at you in suspicion why do you want to know he asks you shrug nonchalantly trying to hide your plans as best you could no reason but if you're stuck sometimes it may help to talk about it you know you say attempting to reassure him but it's, it doesn't work as he shakes his head no way there's no way i'm letting you get in on this i'm letting you in on this information this information is you cut him off before you can finish wait stop don't say it i got this one it's classified ruth glares at you yes it's classified he says you're not going to stop pestering me about it are you you give a smug look nope you know what fine i don't have the energy to deal with your pestering today anyways your eyes light up wait really okay this is actually weird are you two turning a new page who is he and what did he do with the real ruth maybe this was a thing the thing that's throwing you off this is not like ruth at all usually he'll ar argue back but regardless you are eager to listen to what ruth has to say yes but what i'm about to tell you is not for, for the public you can't go around blabbing this to anyone not even magnus you nodded understanding got it lips are sealed so what's this new mission you're speaking of what's got you stumped after a moment of he hesitation ruth begins to speak since you aren't aware i'll start from at the beginning i work as what you keep calling it a detective for the van weiss trading company he starts his voice steady he continues the Van Voice Trading Company is a mining company, most renowned for the funding their research on gems with magical properties, and they own a s significant ch stake in the local mines of Erwin for this purpose. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. Um, they take charge in distributing them amongst the shops in Erwin under strict contracts and regularities. Ooh, gems? What kind of gems? If you recall how I healed you briefly when I, we first escaped the cave, there are gems like rubies, lapis lazuli, or lazuli, I don't know, <laughs> amber, malachite, and on rare occasion, emeralds and amethyst. Thanks to lapis lazuli, the original gem, through the funding of the Van Wise Company, we've discovered each gemstone has the specific magical properties. Depending on which one is needed, each gem can provide success to specific goals of those who use them in particular magical practices oh wait so magical gems is this connected to gemomancy by chance magnus mentioned it to me briefly ruth nods yes these gemstones are the embodiment of gemomancy sometimes it's the backbone of any other magical practice anyhow my mission is more ur urgent than ever before how so how do these gems and, and the company fit with your mission? You ask too many questions, he says, muttering under his breath. Ruth takes a deep breath before continuing. My superior, who owns the company, assigned me a new mission to investigate one of our business partners. This individual has been on our radar for quite some time, while I was away in Olden. My superior wants me to investigate him because of his sudden surge in wealth of, as of late. So, you're investigating him because he's suddenly rich and connected to the company? Ruth nods. In a way, yes. You frown. 
I don't get it, you remark, pondering the situation. Ruth continues, it's not just because of his wealth. Recently, we've discovered that at the same time the business partner has been more wealthy, we've received messages from the foreman in the Mistral Quarry. Shipments of these gems have gone vanishing without explanation at an alarming rate. The coincidences of the surge of wealth and the ship shipments going missing at the same time are uncanny. Where they get such money is beyond us. We suspect them of using our gems in the process, which is strange because they have made no effort to striking deals until now. I see. So... Okay. My god. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I see. So... Do you know who this business partner's partner is? The company has multiple business partners, but the one in questioning is Henry Anslow. All I know is that after combing through their records, the transactions seem fine, but the fact that the gems are missing is the problem. He's not the most subtle man ever. We have our sus suspicions, but without concrete evidence, those suspicions are useless. We need to gather enough evidence before I see, so that's where you're stumped. For a moment, Ruth appears fully absorbed in explaining his work, but then he notices your attention and pauses. Perhaps I've said enough. He su suggests cautiously. You panic a little. The story was just getting good. Why did he have to stop now? No, no, keep explaining, please. I've never been a detective before, but... Lucky for you, I have a knack for reading mysteries. This isn't child's play, Nova. I'm dealing with a serious with serious matters. If this is one of your attempts to get involved, it isn't happening. Not after last time. Besides, what could you even help with? From what I could tell, you've never done missions like this your entire life. Ouch. Okay, that one hurt just a little bit. Sure, it was the truth, but sometimes you really didn't want to hear it. Oh, come on. I said it before and I'll say it again. I helped you before, didn't I? I stopped that dark magic ritual thing back there in Olden. You gotta give me some credit here. If it weren't for me, we all would have been doomed. Besides, I am good at some things. Oh, really? Like what? He asks. Not easily convinced. Um... Crap. You didn't really think this one through that much. You gotta start thinking about something fast. As you thought about it, you remembered something vividly that happened at the cave. Detectives need to be observant, right? They need to have a keen eye for, on detail. If there's anything you know that you're good at, it's exploring and looking around, catching things that others might miss. You recall catching something that Ruth didn't in the past. Past. You have your answer. Like a lot of things. For instance, you didn't catch this when we were there, but remember when back at the cave you said you needed some sort of light magic to stop that dark ritual, but you didn't have any? Ruth raises an eyebrow. Yeah, what about it? Well, when we got in, I walked around to explore and I saw the Unity statue. And you want to know what else I saw? What could you have possibly seen that I didn't know about? You frown, but proceed to explain. Before the strange guy threw the knife at me and everything else, I saw the statue itself repelling- that seemed to be repelling the corruption. I was about to tell you about it, saying, Hey, maybe this thing has light magic, but then I got rudely interrupted and nearly lost my eye. His eyes widened as at the sudden information. But as quickly as they did, they went back to normal. Oh. How did you realize it might have light magic? Don't get me wrong. It could have just been a theory. But the corruption wasn't covering the inside of the shrine. Only the outs- Nor the statue. Only the, only the outside of it. If we had figured it out sooner, maybe then we would have been saved. And I didn't need to get hurt. Ruth's, expressions, uh, Ruth's expression softens as he considers your words and the information you provided. 
I see. I didn't realize you were that observant. He gives you a look that says, Perhaps you did have some valuable insights after all. Then he glances back at you. I suppose you did play a part in starting uh, in stopping that ritual. He concedes. He continues. But that still doesn't convince me. Why do you even want to help in the first place? He asks. You thought about this for a moment. There was a lot of reasons actually, but currently the biggest reason was money. But you didn't want him to know that. Besides, there was more reasons too. And as you thought about it, you look down and begin to explain. Because I'm tired of scraping by. I want something more, something meaningful. Something more than working at a library or a disastrous cooking or fishing job. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. I want to help others. And that's why I'm willing to help you with this mission. Even if it means stepping out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, what's with the creepy noises? <laughs> Anyways. I guess I understand where you're coming from now. Ruth says. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but don't you already have a job? Oh, um... You see... About that... Ruth frowns. What do you mean by about that? Ruth asks. Suspicion is high now. You gulp nervously, realizing there's no way out of this one. Ruth's piercing gaze makes it clear that he's not going to let it slide easily. I may have sort of accidentally got fired, you admit sheepishly, avoiding Ruth's eyes as you speak. You what? Uh, it's a bit complicated. You see, I had a job, but then I got fired. Magnus has been helping me. But my track record of getting fired repeatedly and due to her need to, needing to attend to other matters, we both agreed to take a break. He lets out an exasperated sigh. Of course, I can't expect anything more than that now, can I? You do realize that rent is due in a couple of days, right? Ruth reminds you. You cringe a bit. You knew that all too, too well. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, Ruth. I tried. I really did. But please let me help. I promise I won't mess anything up. I won't let you regret it. You'll do anything to get out of a boring 9 to 5 job. Ruth finally relents. You know what? Fine. Your eyes widen. Wait, what? Really? I'll let you join me on my mission if it keeps you out of whatever trouble that Magnus might have planned for you. Knowing her, she's probably got something up her sleeve, Ruth says, his voice low and firm, but firm. Under one condition. No reckless actions. And if for some reason we come across one, no more touching weird statue stuff. Understand? Ruth warns. You nod eagerly, understanding his point. This is different from the last mission. It's not just about stopping something from happening. It's about gathering evidence and bringing someone to justice within the confines of the law in Erwin. One wrong move, and this entire mission can be compromised, Ruth states. You're not convinced. You're still not convinced to walk away. I get it, Ruth. But sometimes you need an outsider's perspective. Someone who can think outside of the box and catch things you might not see. That's me. Can I please take over with this one? I promise I won't mess things up this time. You want to take over as well. Ruth raises an eyebrow. Yes. Then he sighs. Very well. If you're adamant on proving that you won't mess it up this time, it only makes sense to let you take the lead. But one reckless action, and I, will hes and I won't hesitate to take over. Excitement gets the best of you. Yay! Continuing on with my explanation. Congrats! You've landed yourself a trial of becoming a detective. Now what? Well, detectives usually keep asking questions, so that's what you do next. Right. What happens if we don't stop this business partner? What makes this mission so urgent? 
if this partner of the company really is tampering with the gems, what does this partner, business partner, want with him? That's what we need to find out. The gems are a big con concern, because consider this. If you recall my explanation back at Olden about light and dark magic, some of these gems have light magical properties, and some of them have dark magical properties. Say they are just working with the dark magic ones, which I hope isn't the case. That could be really bad if these gems ended up in the wrong hands. What's worse, imagine if these gems are sent to an anti-magical place like Olden. If they end up in Olden, where magic is forbidden, it's like tossing a lit match into a powder keg. We're walking a dangerous type rope here, and we can't risk losing our balance. Olden. The very place where everything wanted you dead. You gulp. As you feel the, a sudden shiver down your spine. Yeah, that's not good. Um, okay, so finding out what the gems are is a must. And uh, where do we start with this? Do you have anything else I should know about? The gems and the connection says. With that, Ruth retrieves the papers that he brought with him and stands up from his seat. You sit there and watch him stand for a second before springing to your feet yourself. I'll give you this for now. The first step that I advise we take is to gather the rest of the missing pieces of the evidence. Of this evidence. I have a few ideas of where those will be. We need confirmation on whether or not the involvement with the mines and their sudden surge of wealth is truly a coincidence. Your brain is running over a million miles per second now, as excitement takes over. Which means we need to talk to someone who runs in the who who runs the mines. Ruth nods. Yes, exactly that. Uh, hold on. Uh. Anyways, um. Then. Uh, yes, exactly that. We'll start with talking to the foreman at the Mistral Quarry, Quarry to see if they have any insights to give us, since there have been some rather interesting complaints. Then we will go from there. We only have today to find those missing pieces. Who knows what will happen if we don't act fast. Are you sure you're up for this? Ruth asks. You stand to your feet. Heck yeah, I'm up for any challenge. Very well. Let's get going then. Lead the way. Okay. We're going on a mission. We're going on a mission. We're going on a mission. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I need to turn down my sounds. <laughs> Hold on. Everything's so loud. Okay, let's go. Okay. Sorry. So, um... I was trying to find my place. So, uh, Ruth, what are these claims that these people have been reporting exactly? They're vague, but recently there's been some complaints coming from the mines. There are mis mentions of tempering with gem sh shipments. Um, one of the miners um, are saying they fear for their lives and their friends. Oh, so Ruth's a corporate? investigator May I, this sounds like it it sounds awfully like a lot like it really it really does um so okay complaints in the mines shipments are being tampered with hmm. uh do we have any leads on who this person might be that's sending the complaints? It seems that the miners are hesitant to provide detail, if, detailed information out of fear of retaliation. The local authorities um, have also been hesitant to take action. Without concrete evidence, without concrete evidence, which is where we step in. 
Okay. That doesn't sound good. Yeah? Yeah. Especially if these get, get, get to Odin. That's the worst. Um, so, if the miners are hesitant, that means we should try and get their trust, right? Yes, trust is one thing that we should start with, but I don't think it will be that easy. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. I might have a few tricks under, under my sleeve. I don't know. My brain kind of does spontaneous things sometimes. Sometimes I don't even think. Sometimes I just go. <laughs> Maybe that's where he thinks I'm reckless. Wait, did two light bulbs just go off in my head right now? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyways. Um. Okay. So. I don't think I've ever been this far into the Mistral Quarry before. I'm curious. Ooh. What the? Chat? What are we thinking? What are your thoughts? Right now I'm just amazed. <laughs> Oh my god, this place is huge! Oh my. Wait, so, wait. One of the gods might be Unity. Should I say, oh my, Unity? <laughs> is, that, is that the proper turn for it? <laughs> yeah. We need evidence, I guess, yeah. But yeah, let's, let's try and stop the bots. Well, I can tell that running a busy operation around, around here, also searching the evidence, might take some time with how big this place is. Yeah. This place, holy crap, we're going higher. Oh. Okay. I saw a Steve there. Uh, we're gonna ignore the Steves. Anyone who sees Steve's, no you don't. You're going crazy, okay? You have, there's rats. There, there's rats instead. Rats in your brains. We are going to new places. I'm, I, I, oh my God, there's a, oh God, that's a very high up place. I'm also, I guess I am a little bit height sickness. Is that the word for it? I'm afraid of heights, a little bit. Um, that, especially on, on the uh, Jesus, hello? Ah, uh, okay, um, I guess we're here. Um, you and Ruth approach a woman standing high in the, in the qu quarry. The woman stands around you talking to, with the miners, pointing at directions that the miners go to soon after. The woman has dark navy blue hair and light blue eyes. She looks, like she's definitely some sort of authority around here by the way she stands and interacts with everyone else around the area you hear the woman call out all right keep up the great work guys keep this up and we'll be out of here bef before evening let's keep making the four man proud yeah i miss some of the miners say some of the miners call in response you stop step up to face her um Excuse me, miss, uh, are you the foreman who runs the mines by chance? Or some sort of leader? That's a Steve! <laughs> it's fine. The woman turns to face you. Huh? A foreman? No. One may say I'm a step lower, though. The foreman is currently away handling other business. Name's Adeline Vossen. And you are? I don't seem to recognize either of you. The woman tilts her, tilts her head. Ruth speaks up. My apologies for taking away your time. My name is Ruth Barcalis. I am a private, 
I'm a detective working for the Van Weiss Trading Company. This is my assistant, Nova. He gestures towards you. You offer a cheerful wave. Hello. Do you have a moment to spare? Ruth said. Ruth asks. I can speak. Um, Adeline's interest peaks. The Van Weiss Trading Company? We haven't heard from you lot in a while. It must be pretty serious if you have to personally come all the way here. Sure, why not? What's going on? Ruth nods towards you to speak next. Adeline looks over at you as well. Here it goes. Um, right, uh, my turn. <laughs> um, we wanted to talk to you be- oh my god. We wanted to talk to you because we've been getting some odd complaints from the miners, as well as mentions of shipments going missing. Have you noticed anything strange or know who might might have sent the complaints? There she is. Okay. Adeline ponders for a moment. Hmm. Trouble with the miners? Shipments? Well, I can't say I know anything in detail. But I have noticed that some of my fellow miners have been acting a bit standoffish lately. I'd say the f foreman, Sasha, knows more than I would, but she's away right now. And I don't know if they have, they've personally, and I don't know if any miners have personally been up to anything. But I could lead you to a few of them if you'd like to hear it from themselves. You nod. Yes, please. If you can, that would be great. That would save us a lot of time from having to search for them ourselves. We're kind of on a time limit. Adeline gives a kind smile. Very well. I will take you to the miners then. Thankfully, most of the miners should be on break right now. And I know just the place they go. Please, follow me. Then, with that, Adeline leads you both down the mountain. Okay. Um, we go. Ruth? There you are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that steam caught me off guard. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, I'm glad we can still see Adeline now. <laughs> ah! Uh, why does everyone but us have cool last names? I think I think we all have kind of cool last names. John can be a well, that's not a last name. Johnson can be a cool last name. Oh, she knows a better way to get down. I think. Oh. We're going on a mission. Ah! <laughs> We're going. <laughs> I'm fine. We can continue. gonna be a little bit more of an interrogation. I can see you. <laughs> Hello. You approached the four miners with Adeline's help. The possible witnesses that you and Ruth ha are looking for. Here we are, Adeline announces. She waves you to a couple of miners. Couple of the miners. Oi! Jin! J Moira! Terrence! Jaco! There's a vis visitor for you. There were four miners that Adeline spoke to. The first one was a boy who seemed to be in his late twenties, with black hair and brown eyes. The second miner was a girl with blonde hair and hazel eyes. The third one was a boy who seemed to be the youngest of the group, sandy blonde hair and blue eyes. The finer, final mi miner was a man with brown hair and a beard. The miners, though confused, walked up to the three of you. The first miner 
with black hair spoke up. You decide to watch how Ruth handles this before you decide to approach them first. A visitor? What do you mean, boss? He asks. Adeline replies. These folks are here are here are Ruth and his assistant, Nova. They're, they work for the Van Wise Trading Company. I've noticed you guys have been acting a bit more standoffish lately. If you can't tell me about it, at least tell them, all right? The girl with blonde hair tilts her head. The Van Weiss Company? She questions. Ruth replies, Yes, I believe we've received some rather questionable anonymous complaints as of late. We would like to question you for you for about them, to see who sent it, and if you can confirm anything for us. After his reply, you notice the man with the beard grimace as he let out an annoyed sound. This is ridiculous. No one here sent a, sent a message unless someone here is a traitor and lying, he says. Ooh, <laughs> why did my voice make that noise? Um, he says with a grumble. Adeline snaps her fingers. I settle. That doesn't matter right now. If you guys are having troubles, now would be the time to... Oh my god. Now would be the time to confess before you guys really screw yourself over. Otherwise, it's your loss. Adeline turns back towards you and Ruth. Anyways, I hope these guys don't give you too much of a hard time. If they do, come find me and I'll make sh I'll give them a piece of my mind. Please, also let me know what you find out so that I can send a word to the foreman. I'll leave them to you, Ruth. I have minors to delegate right now. Good luck! Ruth nods, then says, thanks. Then, at once, Adeline leaves. Once she is gone, you decide to take this chance to ask Ruth something. You've been itching to get involved, and you're not going to let this opportunity go slip away. To prove yourself, slip, slip away. Hey, Ruth, do you mind if I ask some questions, too? Ruth gives you a skeptical look, clearly hesitant about your suggestion before relenting with a sigh. Fine, but let me lead the conversation. Just follow my lead, alright? You mentally cross your fingers behind your back, knowing full well that you're willing to disobey a thing or two if you have to. Okay. Then you turn back towards the miners. The man with the beard uh, glares at you and Ruth. You can feel the skepticism and hatred in the room. It makes you feel nervous. Good thing you aren't leading the conversation right now. Just so you know, if you do work for the Van Weiss Trading Company, you are not welcomed around me. The bearded man sneers. Yikes, just what did the Van Weiss family do to that him to make him so upset? Granted, you don't know much about them, but Surely they're not that bad, right? Don't worry. I don't want to be around here any longer than I have to, Ruth replies. Then he announces to all of them, Listen, this will be quick and pla painless as long as you all cooperate. My name is Ruth, and I'm here to investigate and verify ongoing activities that have been reported here. We have reason to believe that these activities have close ties with one of our business partners. I'll be asking you questions each each of you individually, all right? Questions to each of you individually, all right? The miner with black hair speaks up again. Yeah, sure, whatever, man. But just so you know, our break ends in four, 15 minutes. Jin replies. It's supposed to say Jin. <laughs> like I said. Oh, that. Yeah. Ruth then replies. Like I said, quick and painless. Let's get this done and over with then. Here we go. Okay. Um, table. You sit at table. I'm nervous. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, one by one, you and Ruth begin to sit with the miners. The first miner you talked to was the one with black hair. He seemed indifferent about the both of you being there. You don't know what to do. 
this isn't your first this was your first ever interrogation so you don't want to mess things up so you decide to let ruth hold the reins and watch and learn for now right let us begin i could see you're tense or scared about me being here all we want to do is make sure you're safe what's your name ruth asks the boy with back hair rolls his eyes then speaks up name's jen he says ruth part ruth ruth's part of the inter interrogation begins Jin, can you tell me about anything you might know about a noble who may have been seen around here? Or if you've noticed any changes in operations, any names to give us? Jin replies, Sorry, can't. We signed papers for handling the gems and shipments, you know. I can't lose my job over some measly paperwork, Jin says. The next few miners reply similarly, similarly after Jin's interrogations. The next is the girl with light blonde hair. Her name, uh, name's Moira. I probably shouldn't be saying anything because we signed papers, but I've noticed a few of our men hanging out really late in the quarry. It's, but that's about it. The boy with sandy blonde hair spoke now. M my name's Terrence, uh, he says with a bit of a stammer. He continues. I've been working at these mines for only two years, but there have been a lot of changes recently. I've seen a lot of things, but I've never seen anything quite quite like this. I don't know if I can talk about it, he confesses. Then the man with the beard spoke. Jay goes the name. Don't wear it out. Sorry about your luck, pal, but I signed papers. I ain't talking. Uh... Oh. Ruth shakes his head. Right, I do recall there being paperwork. There were more questions, but Ruth interviewed... But the more Ruth interviewed Jin, Moira, Terrence, and Jaco, the more irritable they got. Ruth wasn't exactly helping the situation either. You remember that he wasn't a, a person... A people person, so... You can guess that he wasn't enjoying hitting dead ends. We are aware that you signed papers, and we are willing to waive that problem, but only if you know anything about the noble. If you tell us, we'd be happy to bail you out of trouble, Ruth says. One of the question, one of, one by one, each of them answered again, but not in the way that Ruth, Ruth hoped. Look, I've said all I know. Sorry. Can I leave now? Break is almost over, Jin said. Mo Moira pleaded. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't risk it. My family. They depend on me. If I lose my job, I, I don't know what we'll do. I would like to opt out of these questions now. Then Jaco grumbles. I'm tired of these questions. Besides, why should I trust you? You're just like the rest of them trying to dig up dirt and ruin lives while looking fancy like that. I won't be an, a part of it. Just let, leave us be. I'm going back to work. Jin, Moira, and Jacob leave before you and Ruth could continue. Your, your interrogations. This wasn't good. You needed to try and get their trust, but they weren't having it. Earning their trust seemed to be harder than you thought. The miner is standing was Ter the last minor standing was Terence. Your name's Terence, right? Ruth asks. Terence nods. Ruth continues to question him. Well, Terence, it sees seems you're the our only hope now. The rest of them left. By any chance were you the one that sent the complaint? If you have anything you'd like to confess, please tell us. We only want to help. We're looking working on trying to stop them, so now would be the time to speak up. If you do, we'll ensure your safety. Ruth presses. Though he was hesitant. Oh, hold on one sec. That was a mess up, okay. Ruth, can I ask the next question? Though he was hesitant, Ruth nodded and stepped aside. You took a deep breath and dived into the question. Then Terrence answered. It was me, he confesses. Bingo. Ruth seemed to be a bit frustrated at this point. 
this wasn't good. And because of that, you decide to step in. Ruth re uh, yeah, that was a bit of a screw up, okay. You're anxious to hear his point of view and find out who this business- Your inter- your interrogation continues with Terrence, oh my gosh. You're anxious to hear his point of view and find out who his business partner is. You continue to question him. You ask him if he saw anyone out of the ordinary. Terrence responds with a low whisper. I, I saw him. The noble. He He's pulling the strings, making us do things we aren't proud of. I wanted to wait and see if the others and see if the others left before I could tell you anything. Because if they heard they would be upset with me. You question further. Alright, Terrence. Next question. What exactly do you, did you see? Where did you see him? You ask. Terrence shifts uncomfortably in the seat. I saw him near the storage area two days ago, where they keep the shipment shipments. He was talking to some of the miners, discussing shady deals that they need to get the crates out of to the docks. Just followed. Terrence, I understand that you're scared. This is all messed up. Okay, anyways. Ter Terrence hesitates, but then yeah. Uh, okay, so I asked him, like, I, I messed up. He, I asked him, like, I think what he heard. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Terrence hesitates, but then, yeah, I heard them talking about the shipments of the gems among the illegitimate ones. Oh my gosh, Siri. And, and there were threats too. They made it clear that anyone who tried to interfere or speak out, they would face consequences. I did catch a name, Ansla, was all I heard, but... The first name, I have no idea. As for the gems, I'm not sure which ones, but I'm just worried for my friends. I I don't want them to get hurt. They're normal people like me. Double bingo. Ruth steps back in, but you wanted to ask more. Thank you, Terrence. That's all we need to know. We'll ensure that you're protected, and we'll put a stop to Anzo's Ill illicit activities. Terrence nods gratefully, in relief. You will, s you will stop him, right? The no the noble. You offer a smile to Terrence. Don't worry. I promise we'll stop him. You and your friends will be safe again. Terrence bids fa farewell. Then, uh, yeah, I can speak. <laughs> Terrence bids bids farewell. Thank you so much for helping us. I have to leave now. My break is over. Terrence then leaves. As he does, you exchange the gl a glance with Ruth, despite his initial setbacks and the reluctance of the miners. You manage to break through with Terrence's assistance. It's a small vi victory, but a victory nonetheless. Regardless of the disappointment of not being able to ask more questions, the questions you asked did help. You smile. Finally, a chance at feeling great for doing something good. Ruth turns to you. Nice work, Nova. You pulled through with that last question. Wait, did I just hear you correctly? Are you appreciating my questions now? <sighs> okay. Now what? So we go into the docks. I think we're going to the shops. There was, there's something missing in a few of my dialogues. I'm not gonna lie, guys. So scuff line rub, but we we have to go to um, we have to get out now. So let, let's uh, we're gonna go. Let's go to the. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. Not gonna lie. Yeah, there's a little bit of scuffling right happening. Sorry, guys. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. It's fine. 
We like when they're scuffed. It's funny. Funny haha. Anyways. Um. feet hurt why did you have to make me walk this far why is walking so difficult in this land <laughs> you find yourself deeper in astra centrum now feet hurting slightly sweating back on stable ground you're trying to catch your breath it seems ruth was doing the same it seems i underestimated how much time it takes to get to the quarry quarry and back as well as how long it took to get to those miners. You think? My feet are sore from walking that mountain. Right. Well, now that we're out of the mistral quarry, I believe we can t safely talk about the evidence. Uh-huh. So... Anslow is the one tampering with the gems, making shady deals with the miners, and I can only assume they're... they're deals to help relocate the shipments. Yes, we have confirmed that someone has been around here and that the complaints are legit. I have each of the business partners in their financial records. I do remember seeing some sort of discrepancies that some people have claimed that Anslow has done in the past. So what do we do now? That's for you to decide. But I, we still need to check with the shops that get those shipments to see if th to see if they have any other info for us. In that case, let's talk with the shops. Maybe maybe we can also tell they can also tell us what gems they are. Where are these shops exactly? There's multiple shops of multiple numbers of these shops. Two of them are in Astra Centrum. The rest are on the docks. Farm Marketplace. Oh, wait. I know where the docks are. Magnus took me there a couple of day a couple of times for a couple of jobs. Until I fell in the water, of course. Very well. However, I do advise that we stop at the ones near Astra Centrum and the marketplace first. Since they're along the way. Maybe we can split up to do it? Cover more ground. Save time and meet back up at the docks. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Agreed. We can do that. Ruth says. Ruth gives you a couple, couple of pieces of paper. What's... What's this? You, you question him. This is a list of all the shops and, and all of their information. It says which shipment each shop was supposed to receive if they say no they didn't get their delivery we know what's up and they didn't get their delivery we know what's up all right seems easy enough to follow thanks um no time to lose let's go investigate them ruth nods then with that the two of you split up said no for me too. I wonder what gives and what this noble is doing with them. Just what I thought. These transactions don't add up. They must be fake or multifaceted. Wait a second. Do you think Ansel wrote those tra transactions himself? Yes, I do believe that this is part of the case. As to why, I have a hunch, but it's a bit unclear. Let's just get talking with the last shop done and over with first before we make final accusations. Okay then.
You and Ruth meet up near the back entrance at the docks. There's still two more shops at, that need confirmation, but before you decide to confront them, you both reconvene, curious as to what answers you've gathered. Ruth seems frustrated. Any luck at the shops at all? Ruth sighs and shakes his head. No, only one of them said yes. How about yourself? You shake your you shake your head. No, sorry, Ruth. All of them said no for me. I wonder what gives. What and what this noble is doing with them. Just what I thought. These transactions must be fake or multi multifaceted. But we still have one more shop to check back before we can absolutely confirm this. Wait a second. Do you think Ansel wrote the, the transactions himself? Yes, I do believe this is part of the case. But why would he do that? Actions speak louder than words. We still have a couple more shops to question. Let's just get talking with the, them done and over with first before we make further accu accusations. All right, let's go. Um, I don't know how to get, well, I, I do kind of know how to get there, kind of. Should be super shrimple. <laughs> hey, yo, they welcome Fox Hunter. Welcome to the stream. I hope you and your girlfriend had a fun time. Shrimple, where are we going? We're going this way. I think. I think. I think. I no, we're not going this way. I'm done. We're going this way. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going after all. Everybody panic. Hit the panic button. I'm panicking slightly on the inside. It's all these Steves, man. Hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate. We're gonna do it. This is a nice little shop. I'm gonna hydrate. That's the wrong character. <laughs> it's fine. Just guys, ignore this character, okay? <laughs> it's all right. You approach this small shop at the end of the docks. You're hoping the shop has the answers you're looking for, because you're starting to give up and get uh, and you're getting tired. Your eyes scan the shelves, filled with colorful stones and other trinkets. A young woman is behind the counter. This is definitely not a woman. <laughs> Arranging some of them. The woman looks up at, as you enter. Hi there. She introduces yourself, herself with a friendly smile. Can I help you find anything? Uh, hello. My name is Nova. This is, uh my friend uh ruth uh we're here to investigate some missing shipments your shop seems to be on our list um you you reply offering a small smile in return ruth doesn't seem pleased by the mention of your uh, friend he frowns and adds to your reply we are detectives working for the Manwise trading company we would like to ask you a few questions he questions. His eyes light up as at the mention of his, the business you work for. Detectives? The Van Weiss Company? Oh, thank goodness. You guys are here. Thank goodness you guys are here, she explains. Exclaims. My boss has been wanting to talk to you, but they're currently away at the moment. We're, we were lo hoping that you'd come by soon. Please, ask away, she, a she says. You and Ruth exchange glances, then look back at the woman. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome in. Hello, Star. Howdy. How are you guys? Right. Thank you. Uh, we, we, we're here to help if you have any troubles. First question for you. Um, we were wondering if you guys have been receiving the gems like you're supposed to. 
I see. So you're here to investigate our gems? She asks. You nod. She ponders for a moment before flick, a flicker of concern crossing, crosses her fi features. If that's the case, then yes. Your eyes light up and you listen closely. There, we were supposed to get a, receive a big chip of amber and malachite, but it never arrived. Amber and malachite? You ask? Curiosity got the best of you. The woman nods. Yes, they're wonderful gems to make accessories out of. Not to mention the properties they hold. Hmm. You ponder this for a moment. So the shop seems to be receiving some big shipments of amber and malachite, but it never arrived, and coincidentally, that's around the same time the shipments went missing. Is this Anslo guy taking amber and malachite? If so, why? What on earth do those gems do? If you don't mind me asking, what are those- what are the properties of those gems? Amber and Malachite can be- you were expecting the woman to answer, but Ruth rudely interrupts. Amber and Malachite are useful gems. Amber because of its preserving attributes, closely related to the sun and life-giving energy. They are basically magic batteries in certain areas of magic. As for Malachite, it's mostly used for gullomancy. It's used to enhance magnetic usage, but I have noticed a lot more people experimenting with it as for other means as of late. She strains a smile and chimes back in. Yes, that's right. You sure know your gems. Huh. You ponder this for a second. What? is Gollumancy. You turn to face him. He frowns. Gollumancy is the art of creating beings that can't think or feel. In some parts of the world, people use them for fighting machines. Others for extra guard supports. While yes, you can use Amber and Malachite to reinforce a golem, you need a machi machina aspect to fully activate them. Fighting machines? Oh crap. Ruth notice you deep in thought. Notices you deep in thought. You're not entirely sure what the golems can do exactly, but the thought of those getting to old and terrifies you. He notices your grave expression. What are you thinking? Ruth asks. You look over at him. I was just thinking about what you said earlier. About if any of these gems get anywhere else in Mythos, that could get really bad. You state. Ruth's eyes widen. Perhaps he realized that you were pe what you were piecing together as well. The woman overhears you. You, hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean by gems going elsewhere? Are you saying that someone is smuggling them? And double crap. This mission is supposed to be discreet, but you guess that smuggling the gems could be a way to put it. The public shouldn't know about it, and you see why Ruth said that. Uh. No need to worry, ma'am. It's just a theory. Nothing serious. Rest assured, we are on the case. You tried to calm her nerves. The woman seemed to relax a bit, but you could tell that she was still nervous. To change the subject, you decide to ask the next question. You recall what Terrence said previously. Um, anyways, next question. We've been getting reports saying that the shipments are possibly being moved where they aren't supposed to. Have you noticed any strange activity as of late? Especially by the docks? To your dismay, she shakes your head. I'm sorry. No, I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. We always we always close up shop before sunset. Darn. You were really hoping that maybe she had an answer, but guess not. Right. Okay. I think that's all the questions we have, unless you have any, Ruth. Ruth shakes his head. Okay, then I guess we'll take our leave now. Thank you, miss, you say. She stops you before you leave. Before you two leave, I hope you guys find those gems that if, if they're missing. The fact that we haven't got our gems yet has got the boss really worried. This gem, this, this shop is their pride and joy right now. I would hate to see that their shop go to shambles because of this. 
If we don't get the, that shipment, we might have to shut down, and I will lose my job. You can feel the weight of the situation pressing down on you. People's livelihood, livelihoods are at stake here now, and it puts a lot of pressure on you. But you try to offer some sort of reassurance. Don't worry, we'll find those shipments and we'll figure out what's going on. We'll make sure that the gems re are returned safely. Her eyes brighten with gratitude. Thank you, Nova. Thank you, Ruth. I really appreciate your help. Ruth, you nod. It's no problem. We are on, we are on it. Thank you for answering your questions. With that, you and Ruth set out to determine to save the shop from ruin. Okay, that was a lot to take in. Where are we going? Uh, Ruth, do you want to talk about it for a second? Do we have anything to say? I think, maybe? Uh. So. <laughs> this is concerning, Ruth says. You think? You continue to piece together the evidence. So, not only is Anzlo harassing miners, taking gems that aren't his, and faking transactions, he's taking Amber and Malachite, two gems that seem to be to make fighting machines that you mentioned. This isn't good. What are we going to do about this? The thought of Olden getting those gems sends a shiver down your spine. Ruth thinks for a moment. Oh, I, I was supposed to say that first part, but you know. Anyways, um, I'm not sh sure yet, but... Oh, wait. I'm not sure yet, but we still have one more shop to go to. Let's chat with them first, and we'll draw our conclusions for the our next plan in action. Uh, okay. Alright, to the last shop. Oh, I hope they have the answers we're going looking for. Uh. Uh. Hello. You approach yet another shop at Uncan Paradox, the last shop you and Ruth need for the day. This shop is different from the rest of them. It seems to only hold one of the one type of crystal. The shop holds the crystals in all different colors. Crystals that seem important, possibly full of magic. Could those be from the family from the company that Ruth works for? At the counter of the shop stood a couple of individuals. They're a bit strange looking at first, but then you notice that perhaps they could be animals like Magnus. When you get to the counter, you take a closer look. There was a man who you could make out had slightly blue hair blue eyes and strange dragon-like features who seemed to be using the crystals to make something intricate with his hands. Or were they claws? It was hard to tell because you could make out a significant amount of scales. Behind them there was another guy sleeping on one of the chests at the shop. You could see that they had silver hair and wolf-like ears. His eyes were closed as if they were sleeping the day away. Wait, how is he sleeping like that? Could, that couldn't possibly be comfortable. Along with the man with silver wolf-like ears was a girl dressed in all white and yellow accents and seemed to have orange-esque feathers that it seemed as though she was restocking the crystals on the shelves behind her. Last but not least was the girl with pink hair. 
and a seemingly fox-like ears and tail. Her hair looks like really fl floofy. She was organizing things from the crate. It seemed as though they got some sort of delivery, perhaps. Out of the corner of her eyes, she spotted you and Ruth approaching. Ooh, customers, she says, springing to her feet, charging toward the counter with an overly excited look on her face. Hello, val valued customers. What can I get? What can I get you at on this fine day? This seemed to have scared the other girl who was restocking the crystals to the shop. She gives a bit of a yelp and drop the group of crystals that were in her hands. Eep! Marshy! Sh there's a crash on the floor and you once and you went startled by the sound. Others seem to react the same. Ouch. Uh, that can't be good. Um... Okay. The silver wolf animan sluggishly lifts his head to look around to see Sunny and Marshy. Huh? What happened? Oh, hold on one second. I gotta, like, turn off something. I'm sorry, guys. Eh. There, that's better. Leon groans. Oh, sorry. What happened? I mean, huh? What happened? He says. There was no answer, so he shrugs and lays his head back down. The girl with pink hair, who you assume is Marshy, is named Marshy, now turns back to the girl behind her. Oops. Sorry, Sonny. Leon, Leon groans, and he puts, his, puts down the piece of jewelry that he was working on. What are you two doing over there? Leon asks asks in an annoyed tone. Marshy turns back to you. The customers with... To you. The customers with an awkward get foreign. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's start over. Welcome, new customers. What can I get for you? We're not customers, Ruth says with a sharp tone. Oh. Marshy's expression changes to a more disappointed look. Your eyes widen and you decide to speak up. Sorry about that. My friend could be a bit blunt, um, and straight to the point. Um, we had a few questions and we would like to ask if you, if, ask you if that's alright. Do you have a second to spare? Uh, sure. Okay. Leo, Leon steps in. What's going on over here? Ruth replies. My name is Ruth Varkalis. I'm an invest- I'm a detective for the Van Wise Trading Company. We would like to know if you have been receiving any gemstones from one of our business partners who claim to have sent them to you. Uh, Leon, did you get some gems from some strange people? What? Leon asks. He frowns. What are you talking about? Marshy questions him again. So you didn't get gems from these people? The only gems I've gotten so far are from you in the mines. I've never received any other another, from another source. Leon replies. Okay. Um, next question. <laughs> We've been getting reports saying the shipments are missing. Have you noticed any strange activity at the docks lately? Other than whatever Marshy and the rest of them are getting into? No. I haven't noticed anything. Right then. If that's the case, then I think we're done here. Ruth says. Then he begins to walk away, leaving you behind at the counter for a bit. Uh, Ruth, wait! You re you turn to Marshy and Leon. Sorry again. Thank you for your answers. We have to leave now. Bye! With that, you leave the shop feeling bad for how Ruth reacted again. While you leave, Marshy, Leon, and Sunny look at each other with a confused look on her face. Cryophus 8 gifted one subscription Sunny comments. to the community. That was weird. Uh, alright then. I guess. Okay. <sighs> now what do we do? Okay. Ruth, I have an idea. I have an idea. 
I think I know what we're gonna do. So thank you for the sub. This is troublesome. You frown and you thought, and though you didn't want, uh, you didn't say it, you couldn't agree more. Finding yourself in deep thought. The evidence you get, you gathered so far is strange. Good news, you found out who might be behind this. His name is Henry Anslow, a business partner in a van of the Van Wyss Trading Company. You found out what gems are being taken, Amber and Ma Malachite, and the potential of what they're being used for. But what's, but what's strange is that no one has noticed anything unusual at the docks. Plus, this evidence has been easy to track down. This guy isn't really doing a good job at hiding the fact that he's doing this. Anslow thinks of himself as invisible, but he leaves his tracks. The thing you haven't noticed, haven't found out where the where the gems could possibly be going and where they are. So far, no one has spotted anybody unusual late at night at the docks, but Terrence said he overheard them talk about it. And an idea comes to your mind. Ruth, I may have an idea. Ruth turns to look at you. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we might want to come back here later after dark and try to see what's really going on here. Terrence said that he, he overheard them talking about it. Nobody else noticed anything unusual, so I suggest we do a stakeout to confirm this. If Anslo really is here after dark, then I believe we will have the right evidence if we, if we go. Are you sure? You nod. Yes. I believe this is the only way we can truly confirm what is going on. Ruth closes his eyes and takes a deep breath before agreeing. Okay. Okay then. If you're certain, then we'll do that. We'll have the stake out at the docks. You smile. Great. So... Now what? I'd say we've gathered all that we can for now. We have a few more hours until sundown, so I said I would rest up beforehand, then meet back, meet back up over here after dark. Are you sure that there's nothing else in those documents of yours that we need to find? You ponder- uh, Ruth, Ruth nods. Yes, you ponder a bit. Alright, still though, all of this is strange. Here I thought th this would be more of a challenge to get the information. You would think that someone going this far to steal gems would cover their tracks more carefully. Again, I will admit that Anslow's not as bright as others c compared to that, that I had to face. Ruth says, should we head back then? You go ahead. I want to go do one more thing. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, see you after sundown, I guess. Okay. Oh boy. He is sleeping on the chest. That looks rather uncomfortable, actually. <laughs> I don't know how one could do that. <laughs> That's literally planking on a whole other level. <laughs> in a way. I don't know. Do I make sense? Probably not. Bonk me on the head. Okay. So we're going to go <laughs> do a stakeout. I hope this works. I'm scared for my life. So they are there. I knew it. So it seems. Wait, that's one of the miners at the interrogation. Ruth, let's get closer. I 
want to hear what they're saying. We gotta be stealthy about this. We could be easily spotted. Oh my god, they can see me from here. hear them. I really hope they don't see me. Oh, my heart. Okay, I'm here. Huh? We don't want to be involved with any of the horrid schemes you got. Oh boy. Hmm. It could be a shame if your boss heard about that you were helping with a scheme like this. <gasps> He's looking. You wouldn't. Oh, yes, he would. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be rooting for the bad guy. That'd be bad. Uh, um. I can't hear what they're saying now. Ch whatever. Besides, why are the gems so important for you to move on the ship anyways? No reason for you to worry about. It's just... For a couple of colleagues of mine. They'll get a good surprise when they realize there's more than just gems. <gasps> what? No way. There's more than just gems? Okay, okay, we're going, we're going, we're getting out of here. Uh, look out. Please don't come and see me. Don't, we, we didn't get caught. No way. Okay. Oh god, we're running. <laughs> ah! Okay. Please, 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 please. Okay, so they're, they were at the docks. They were at the docks, okay. <sighs> my heart is racing, my heart is racing. I can't breathe. Okay. Ruth? What the heck was that? Did you just see that? I just saw that. That was... Not good. <sighs> we should probably... We should probably go back to our apartment. Just in case... Okay. That was wild. Um... So we just seen that. You would run as fast as you can to get away from the guard and not to be caught. Once you think you're far enough, you stop to catch your breath. <sighs> okay. I think we lost them. Oh gods, that was too close. Ruth turns to face you. The normal frown returning back to his face. What just happened? Ruth, you won't believe what I just heard. Stop wasting time and tell me already. All right, all right. Um. Right. Uh, long story short, that was definitely Jin Jago Mo Moira over there. 
But that's not all. There's more than just gems in those crates. Ruth's eyes widen. What? You heard me. I said there was more than just gems in those crates. Did you hear anything else? Ruth asks. Uh, you shake your head. No, but I wish I did. This isn't good, Ruth. If it's true what I heard, I fear the worst. What do we do? The evidence lines up. Everything we've investigated has been verified. There is only one other thing to do. Approach Anselo. Nova is shocked. I mean, I'm shocked. <laughs> You're shocked. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you serious? Like, just like walk right up to him and say, Hey buddy, what's your business with the gems? Do you really think he's going to answer? Yes. You stare at him, dumbfounded. Wow, he really isn't thinking this one through that much, isn't he? Is he? Okay, then. If you're sure about that, then fine. Um, where would he be? It doesn't matter. We've verified all the evidence, thanks to you. There's only one thing left to do. Give me time to locate where Anslow is tomorrow. Maybe then we'll approach him. I'm going to finish up a few more things. Are you sure about this? Because I don't think this is how this stuff goes. Don't worry about what I do. Just prepare for tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Um... I really don't like <sighs> the plan currently. Just seems very reckless. All right. <laughs> that should cover all of it. Those Van Weiss scum will never know what hit them. Those gems will reach the others in no time. Now, what should I do with my Time. You're an arrowhead. Wow. This place looks fancy. Is this the place? So where do you think he is? Over there. What? Ruth! Hold on! Excuse me, sir. Are you Henry Onslow? For Unity's sake. What now? Yeah. That's me. What do you want? My name is Ruth Varkalis, and I'm a detective for the Van Weiss family. We know what you've been up to, Onslow. Your plan is done for. It stops here. You're under arrest for stealing magic gems and attempts at smuggling them out of Aaron. <laughs> oh, really? Is that the best you've got? What? Yes. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Oh, you Van Weiss scum. Really are as gullible as I thought. Let's see. What would you do if it was the other way around? Oh, no. You stand before a man, the man you and Ruth have been after. The man with brown hair and somewhat fancy clothing. He fits in with this place you call lab they call Lavender Terrace. Disgustingly so. This man is Henry Anslow, the very man that you and Ruth have been after. The man that has been faking the transactions, the one harassing the miners, the one where the crowd has formed. Ruth has point his sword pointed at his neck. You stand a bit petrified at the scene. Oh god, this isn't good. You had a thought before this happened. Perhaps you and Ruth could make a game plan, but no, it didn't happen like that. Instead, you just approached him like he said he would. No plan in sight. This was slightly embarrassing to watch. Excuse me, sir. Are you Henry Anslow? Ruth asks. What the? Yes, that's me. What do you want from me? Money? Henry says, angrily. My name is Ruth Varkalis. 
I'm a detective for the Van Weiss family. I would like to talk to you about your recent illicit activities, Ruth says. Oh no, straight to the point. Out in public, too. It's not... It's not to take... Aren't we supposed to not take this out in the public? You glance around a crowd. Way to be subtle, subtle Ruth. Illicit activities, Anslow frowns. I'm afraid you didn't... I didn't quite catch what you mean by that. I've been involved with activity illicit activity. I haven't been involved with any illicit activities. You catch a slight, slight smirk and a frown. Ruth, Ruth glares at you. You can't lie your way out of this one, one Anslow. We know what you're up to. We've investigated every bit of crime that you've been involved with, especially with these gems. You've been stealing them, harassing the miners, and to do your dirty work, and that's not all. You've been operating under conspiracy. Uh, Anslow frowns. Oh, so now you're blaming me for conspiracy. What about you? And that Van Weiss scum? Anslow asks. Ruth, Ruth's eyes widen. What did you just say? Anslow allows his smirk to show now. You heard what I said. There's a silence right now, but you could tell that Ruth was angry just by the tone of his voice. I don't get why you're pointing a sword at me. I'm just doing the work that, that you and your superior told me to do. Smuggling the gems out of everyone at the dock. At the docks. You guys made me do that through your contracts. He moved the chess piece now. Your eyes widened. So this was Anslow's play. Anslow's voice um, was moving over the crowd. As the crowd now, as whispers spread about... Nova, I, I speak. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now we know you're lying. We saw you at the dock, Sanslow. Oh, really? Is that so? He turns to face you with an eyebrow raised. So it was you at the docks. I thought I saw someone run ran off. Who even are you, anyway? I, uh, don't answer, Nova, Ruth says, through gritted teeth. Crap, you were just about to give away your identity. That's not good. Tell me, detective. What did you see at the docks? What evidence did you gather, hmm? Anslow taunts. Ruth lowers his sword and balls his other hand into a fist. I know about you, Ruth. I know about... I know a lot of... And I know you know a lot about me. And here's what you don't know. I, lot of, I know a lot, lot about you as well. I know who you are and the times you screwed up. And this time, you really screwed up. You claim that I'm smuggling, smuggling the gems. You're trying to arrest a man with baseless evidence. Tell me, do you even have a warrant to investigate me with? Your eyes widen. What the? What is he talking about? What does this? What does he mean that he screwed up? He's trying to do a power play, getting the people around you to hear every word he says that's a lie. You really want to smack this guy out of oblivion. This is, is this how he keeps getting his way, getting away? Always lying, always scheming. Another question, does Ruth have a, have a warrant? Do you still get those in this world? Before Ruth gives you, gives in, you try to speak up. Ruth, please tell me you have a warrant to do this. Ruth searches his pockets, his frustration mounting with each pass, passing second. He searches the proof they need to bring Anslow to justice, but it's nowhere to be found. I, I must have misplaced it, Ruth mutters, his voice faltering for the first time. But that doesn't change the fact that we know what you've been doing. You stare in horror. You can't be serious. This guy forgot to get a warrant. Anslow smirks. Anslow's smirk turns into a triumph triumphant grin. grin. As he seizes the opportunity to turn the tables. Ah, so you have no warrant then, which means you have no evidence. How convenient for me. Anzo's voice then booms over the crowd. Guards! Within a moment, the guards arrived. Crap. Code red, not good. What seems to be the issue here, one of the guards sa says, his gaze sh shifting between Ruth, you, and Anzo. 
Anzo t turned the guards, his expression a mix of in indignation and a calculated charm. Officers, these individuals are harassing me, accusing me of crimes without proper authorization, he stated, his tone dripping with false e innocence. You grit your teeth. You've had enough. Hold on, just a second. You're the one who's committing the crimes. You can't just... You, the guard ignores your outcry. Is this true? Do you have a warrant to investigate Mr. Anslow? He asks. You hesitate, scrambling for a response. Before you can, can refuse to res respond, Ruth speaks up. We don't have a warrant. Ruth admits. Your heart sinks. Did he really just give up like this? The guard's demeanor heart hardens. Without a warrant, you have no legal grounds to investigate Mr. Anslow, he stated firmly, his words echoing. The warning they had received yeah, um, earlier. Anslow's grin widened, a smug satisfaction evident in his eyes. You see, without a warrant, your evidence means nothing, he sneers. Ruth returned his sword to his sheath and clenched his fist, his frustration but boiling over. You've never seen Ruth so angry before. Not even at the Unity statue was he this angry. You had walked into Anslow's trap, and now you were pow powerless to stop him. Without a warrant, you have nothing. We will get a warrant and come back. Anzo ch chuckled mockingly as the guards began to disperse the crowd. By then, it won't. It will be too late. You've already shown your hand, detectives. I've won this round. Leave it, Nova. There's no use fighting him. Let's go, Ruth says. Then, with that, Ruth walked away, and you stand there at a loss. Ugh, okay. Um. Dang it. You didn't have a warrant. What the heck, Ruth? Why? <sighs> Why didn't you have a warrant? can't deal with this right now. I can't deal with you or the embarrassment about what happened back there. Let's just go. Fine. Your thoughts are ringing your ears as Magnus speaks. You, They're so loud and unbearable. What if we did this? No, never mind. There's no way that could, could work. Those gems are probably gone now. This is the worst. They keep rambling on, on about the mission. Nova? Hello? Earth to Nova, she calls out. You still don't answer, but then... Nova! You jump and look at, up at Magnus. G What's going on? You were spacing out during my story. What gives, Nova? Magnus says with a pout. Oh, I'm sorry. I just have a lot on my mind right now, you admit. <laughs> well, at least I have the audacity to listen to someone while they're speaking. But... I will admit, I do notice that something's off with you right now. Is everything okay? She asks. You look down. No, not really. I'm not okay. Magnus looks at you with a worried expression. What's wrong? I don't know if I can say, you say. And it's true. It's okay. You can tell me, Nova. I won't let you tell anyone. I don't want to see you sad. You look at Magnus. It's true, because Ruth said that Magnus can't know without the mission. Because, yeah. <laughs> you you don't want to make Ruth angry about by telling Magnus, but at the same time, screw Ruth, because he's shutting you out. Magnus, I need to talk to you about something. It's about Ruth. What about Ruth? Is everything okay? Well, you see, Ruth is actually a detective, and he had this mission we've been working on to stop a noble from com committing crimes. It's gone terribly wrong. Wait, 
What? Ruth is a detective? Yeah. No way. That all makes sense now. All this time I thought he was just a researcher for the Van Weiss Trading Company. I didn't know he was a detective. What happened during this mi the mission? We thought we had him. Anzo, I mean. But then he pulled the whole warrant card on us and without concrete evidence we're stuck and now Ruth won't even talk to me that's not good wait you didn't tell him about not having a job did you Magnus asks yeah I did he wasn't mad was he you shake your head at first he was a bit concerned but I don't think he was mad though regardless this mission is weighing a, a toll on and now we have no means to stopping Anselm. That sounds tough. Have you considered an alternative approaches? I've been racking my brain, but nothing seems to work within the legal boundaries. I am stuck. Sometimes you have to think outside of the box. Break the rules a little. Break the rules? Not like breaking the laws, but bending them just a bit? If you can't get what you need through the official channels, maybe you have to find another way to gather the evidence. Your eyes light up. Wait a second. Magnus is onto something. All this time you've been gathering evidence, verifying that Anzo was at the docks with those miners, stealing gems, and faking transactions. But there is one evidence that can that can be easily warped over, looked over. You needed something more. The answer lies within Anselm. More specifically, Anselm's home. You had no idea where Anselm's house it was, but Ruth seemed to be a good, good at tracking things down. Wait, Magnus. That's it. You're a genius. Magnus tilts her head a bit, confused. Huh? What's it? I don't get it. You spring your feet and start to pace back and forth a bit. That might just work. What if we break into Anzo's house to find that evidence? Anzo's gotta have papers confirming his plans, right? If we can just get a hold of whatever those documents are, we have the upper hand. Ruth might not like it, but despite desperate times calls for def desperate measures. Magnus smiles. Now you're thinking, Nova. She cheers. Right. I have an idea now. Thank you, Magnus. I have to go. Uh, be back later. I'll chat more. Uh, we gotta finish a mission. Bye! That's a spirit. Don't worry about me, Nova. Do what you need to. I'll be here. Magnus calls out. With that, you rush out of Magnus' door. Oh! Okay, we gotta go solve this mission. Let's go. Here we freaking go. Ruth, open up! Nova, what do you want? I thought I told you to leave me alone. I know how we're gonna stop Anzalo. Wait, what? How? It's risky, but I think it can work. What do you mean by risky? We need to break into his house. Wake up! Gah! Ah! Intruder! Gods! I didn't know you could throw a punch. Good thing to know, I guess. Nova, it's me, Ruth. I'm not an intruder. Wake up already. What the? Ruth, what the heck are you doing in my room? Why do you have a mask? Shh, quiet down, would you? It's time to act on the plan, remember? The one that you came up with. You were not awake yet, so I had to break in to wake you up. Oh, right. The plan. What was the plan again? The break-in. Right! Okay, thank god I didn't miss it. Um, 
But you still didn't answer my question. Why do you have a mask? I figured for safety reasons, if we don't want our identity to be found out, it may be best to wear one of these. I brought one for you, too. Oh. Well, that's actually... really smart thinking. Get ready and meet me outside when you're finished. Meanwhile, I'm going to make sure my face doesn't bruise up. Thanks to you. Oops. I can't believe this. It's actually happening. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Ruth, you do know where Anslow's house is, right? What the? Good evening, Oslo. What yeah. are you- Rose, what did you just do? Don't worry, he's just temporarily knocked out for now. It should buy us some time to get what we need and get out. Let's hurry before he wakes up. And you're sure he isn't dead? Positive. Let's go. Inside Anslow's office now. Heart beating fast, forehead sweating, hands a bit clammy. You've never done something like this before. Breaking into somebody's house is entirely new to you. Exactly what exactly are we looking for again, Ruth? Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Files, transactions, anything that spells harm. Ruth whispers. His voice a bar barely audible over the pounding of your own heartbeat. You nod. Your senses heightened as you scour through every inch of the office. Okay. Um, here we go. Um, no. Not there. Not there. Definitely not in... Anything in this book. I didn't get to read the book. Is it in here? No. Um, God, my stuff is in the way. Um, where? Is there anything on this? I don't see anything. These look promising. I think I found something, Ruth. I think I found something. You sift through the stacks of uh, upon stacks of files, your eyes scanning each document in with intensity. 
You flip through the pages and pages, fingers moving swiftly until something catches your eye. Then you see it, a folder tucked away within the bottom of the drawer. It's the contents labeled with Anselm's name. The word transactions stamped in blood red, red red letters. Nova's eyes widen as he pull as she pulls it out, excitement bubbling in her voice. Jackpot! Ruth, I think we found something. Ruth hurries over to you and leans in to see what you've found. What is it? You spread out the documents before yourselves, revealing a trove of evidence detailing Anzo's transactions. The pamphlet contains intricate details. Um, the, the folder floods with incriminating paperwork. No way. I believe this is it. This paper. Anzo's entire transaction laid out black and white. You can tell because all the things he's been tasked to ship out. I see something here. Amber and Malachite going to this place. Where exactly is this place? Let me see this. Does it say in any names? Ruth, Ruth asks as he takes his papers from you. Ruth, sh you shake your head. I don't see any names, but I see what could be signatures. There's one signature with E.B. Ruth takes a moment to hurry through the documents, scanning them. You watch as his eyes widen at one point. Ruth's hands tremble, anticipation as he pours through the evidence. Anne's love's criminal empire. Is everything okay, Ruth? This changes everything. These gems are being sent to one of the other kingdoms. Suddenly, you, as you and Ruth stare at the papers, you hear Ansel groan as he moves a bit. He lays there knocked out on the ground. Ruth turns to you in a hurry. Nova, this is it. You found the evidence. We need to put Anzo in his final incarceration. Your eyes widen. Wait, really? Yes, Ruth confirms. Then he tucks his the papers into his cloak. We need to leave. Now. We. He will be waking up soon. You nod in agreement. Right. Anzo will be able to talk, to talk his way out of this one. Let's go. We're going to put him away. For good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Leave it. My plan worked. We got the evidence. Shh. Don't be too loud. We can't afford to let the guards find us. Right. Still though. This is epic. Now what do we do? We will present this evidence to the officials. But won't they get mad at us? I have to let you play, play it. Not if they get this anonymously. I have a plan of, for now. You must not tell anyone what we did. Got it. So. But wait. Mag Magnus knows. Yeah, she knows. She was the one who helped me with the idea. I can't believe I'm saying this, but exceptional work, Nova. You have surpa surpassed my expectations, and for now, you've earned my respect. <sighs> well, what can I say? I have a knack for getting things done my way, I guess. Don't I? You should rest too, you know. Oh, sorry. I'm going to deliver this evidence to the guides. Rest for now, Nova. You've earned it. You should rest too. You know, it's been a long past few days. I won't rest until Ansel is behind bars. Don't worry about me. We'll meet back up tomorrow. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave then. See you tomorrow, Ruth. 
Holy crap. Chat! We just did that. Stars! <gasps> okay. And we still have- we don't have rent money! Hopefully this pays off. I hope. I hope. Well, I just can't wait to see Anzo stop for once. Let's... Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's just go home. And we'll wait for that. Let's go. We'll get money. I, I, I swear. I swear we'll get money. I swear it. Dear Traveler, congrats on completing the mission. We heard about your recent endeavors with Fruit, and I must say we're thoroughly impressed. It was because of you that we stopped a man who was planning to harm Marilyn. We'd like to formally meet you in person at our home. Warm regards, CV. Oh man, but I don't want you to go. Can you take me with you guys? No, Magnus, you weren't invited. My superior wouldn't be pleased if you showed up unannounced. Don't worry, Magnus. I will try to work on a deal to allow them to let you join us. Rest assured, I won't be going anywhere else without you. Do you promise on your life? Like super duper pinky promise. Yes. Yay! You better, because if you don't, I will hunt you down and make you regret it. Nova, we're losing time. We need to get going. Alright. Goodbye, Magnus. Have a safe trip. And Ruth, if you don't be nice to Nova, I'll make you regret it. I make no promises. Nova, before I forget, I know sometimes being a detective can be dangerous work, so here are some healing potions for you, just in case you find yourselves in trouble. I want you both to come back in one piece. Magnus, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Alright, that's all. Uh, goodbye, Nova. Goodbye, Ruth. Come back and visit when you can. I'm not gonna lie. All of this is kind of crazy. Getting anonymous letters from somebody? Solving crimes? Well, it's also fun, but I'm curious to see where this road will take me. And what else this world has in store. And I hope to see Magnus in Arrowwind again soon. Just say